These little wheels support the firebox, and these springs, they're pretty heavy, but they actually do provide a spring action, and they're connected through rods and levers. This engine actually only sits on two points here and on the front wheels, and the whole the weight of it is distributed along levers between the wheels, and you can see the the springs and the levers if you look closely at it. By federal regulations, uh, these boilers had to be washed once a month because of accumulated scale mineral deposits. And this was a complicated process. You had to take all of the steam pressure down and remove these caps. There's one up here, I don't know if you can see it. It's a washout plug and you'll see them along the boiler. Those caps, they all had to be opened up they put high pressure hoses in there to knock the scale out of the boiler. And all the scale would run down to the lowest point of the firebox. We call this the mud ring. This, there's a, about a four inches, five inches in here that's filled with water. And these stay bolts hold the pressure, 200 pounds to the square inch, hold it in. But they'd open this cap here, and this is where all the scale would come flying out. Uh, from the washing process. I watched that done in Auburn. We had some wiry Japanese fellows that did most of the boiler washing at Auburn. And it was quite a thing to watch them. They'd be up on the running boards with their hoses and down here. But that had to be done once a month by federal regulation.